All right, I'm gonna give you some street photography tips that are a little more advanced. Tip number one, do not focus on the person's closest to you, focus on the person's person furthest away from you. So if you're shooting whatever camera, refocus your camera to, let's say five meters to infinity, and try to get people in the foreground, middle ground, and background. What you're trying to do is intentionally blur the person in the foreground and only have the person in the background sharp. Good people to study this is Alex Webb, Gary Winogrand, and I think those are the only ones who do it pretty well. Or my, my buddy Charlie Kirk, aka 2 Cute Dogs, at 2 Cute Dogs on Instagram. That's the first tip. Second tip is if you want to be a better street photographer or do some more advanced work, it's actually to simplify your photos. The biggest mistake that a lot of street photographers who are trying to make it to the next level do is they try to do layers and complex composition for composition's sake. Whereas I think it takes more skill to simplify the scene. So beginner street photographers just look at the center subject. I think more advanced street photographers look at the background, the edges of the frame, and try to simplify. The last tip I have for becoming more advanced street photographer is if you see a good scene, shoot the shit out of it. Even Trent Park, a uh, magnum photographer I really admire, if he sees a good scene, he'll shoot like a hundred photos of it. Even for one of his most famous photos of like uh, a bus cross in uh, Sydney with nice light or whatever. He shot a hundred rolls of black and white film to just get one shot. So I think if you're a noob in street photography, you're still kind of scared to shoot street photography. So you might only take one or two photos and want to run away. But if you really, really care about making a great street photograph, take 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, 90, 100 photos. Even one photo I shot of this bull with the skull head. I stalked a I stalked a, a bull with my Rico GR version two. And I took a hundred and like two photos of it. And the best photo was shot number seventy or eighty. I cannot remember. If you want to learn more about working the scene, uh, just Google Air Kim contact sheets. I have some free ebooks on showing you guys the behind the scenes of how many photos I actually had to make in order to get a great shot. Or pick up a copy of Magnum contact sheets. Pick up on Amazon or your used bookstore. It's probably the best way to see the secret sauce behind the great street photographers. And last tip, when you think you got the shot in street photography, you don't got the shot, try to shoot 25% more than you think you should. So for example, you see a good scene, let's say you take 10 or 15 photos of it. When you feel awkward or nervous or afraid, push yourself and shoot four, five, six, seven, eight more photos. And for me, often my best street photos are my last one or two shots. All right, so some street photography tips, Google Air Kim, street photography blog for some more tips, and keep hustling on the streets. Peace out.